All right, so what you want to do is the easiest way to trade these markets is very simply to look at the trend chart first. We have two trades that we trade every single day on any market. It doesn't matter any futures, any stocks, any Forex, any currency. There's only two setups that you're going to trade off this trend chart and in the trading room. It's all based off of order flow. So what we're going to do is we're going to trade a what's called a retracement trade and what's called a momentum trade. I'm going to show you exactly where to pull the trigger on these high reward to risk bars when they form. The best way to do it is you want to trade, look at this uh, trend chart, the first thing you do in the morning. This is today's trades. Yesterday we nailed news. Uh, I'll show you that in a second too after crude oil inventories came out. But that's the only two setups we're going to look at. We're going to look at a retracement trade and we're going to look at a momentum trade. What's the difference in a retracement trade versus what's the difference in a momentum trade? First of all, we have three moving averages here on the Rinko bar. This is very key. This is not a standard Rinko bar. Standard Rinko bars do not have a trend filter built in. I have a very sensitive trend filter built in that measures higher lows, lower highs, that measures momentum and order flow coming into the market and coming out of the market. So this chart will dictate if they're trying to mark the market down or mark the market up. These are electronically traded markets, and this chart will leave its footprint of where these algorithms, hedge funds, prop firms, banks, etc., professional traders, high-frequency traders are leaving their footprint in the market. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to enter these markets based upon the trend chart. The trend chart will either show us either it's trending or it's chopping. If it's trending, we'll use these Fibonacci arrows next to it to enter the trades like we did this morning so far. How is it trending? You have a longer term MA, intermediate, and a smaller MA. Smaller is the smallest one is a dashed white, intermediate's the white, longer is the magenta. Easiest way to see trend, if you're if you are if the small is below the intermediate, intermediate below the longer, you're all crossed down, which we have been since right around 3.30 this morning. It's been nothing but short bias. If it's like that, we need just to, you need to concentrate on shorts. A second way to see if a trend trend is strong is that you have a momentum trade and a retracement trade to take advantage of these crosses. The best way to do it is to look for a retracement trade. A retracement trade, you're going to catch the wrongly positioned traders, or I call them counter trend traders. Before we just use market profile, now that Ninja 8 is programmable, it's more robust, I'm able to program a trend chart that is very sensitive to the market's movements. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for opposite color candles to close to find out when there's a retracement trade into effect. What does that mean? If I'm crossed down with all these moving averages, small below the intermediate, intermediate below the large, I know I'm in a downtrend. A retracement trade is going to happen when I get an opposite color candle that forms, the first opposite color candle that forms against trend. Trend is down. There's the first red green candle. You're going to look for the first retracement for a short. Here's the first green candle here. Here you're going to look for the first retracement for a short. Here's a red candle, green candle just formed here. Now we're going to look for a retracement short over here also for another short opportunity, which it came up to it. I'll show you in a second. But those are the three retracement trades in the market. That's called retracement trading. How can I pinpoint my retracement trades to get into the market then? I know the trend chart has showed me an opposite color bar against trend. That educates me that I'm catching the wrongly positioned traders or counter trend traders in the market. These traders are going to try to push the market back up against the overall trend because they're using different oscillators, moving averages, stochastics, divergence, etc. They're not going against the overall trend of the market. They are the novice traders in the markets. That's the traders we want to prey upon are the counter trend traders. Let them push the market back up so we can get short. How can we do that? If you're looking for a retracement trade and I get an opposite color candle green, I'm immediately looking at my Fibonacci chart to the right. My Fibonacci chart to the right have what's called my SIM dots. My SIM dots calculate the symmetry of the market. They will show higher lows and lower highs. The red is resistance and blue is support. If I'm in a downtrend, 
I want to look at the red for resistance areas to short. That's an area I want to get short the market if I retrace to it after I form a green bar. Once I form the green bar, I want to locate where my symmetry dots are. If you look at the first one, if the first setup, we came up, green bar, it came within uh, two ticks of my symmetry, it exceeded my symmetry dots, which is a lot to do. It just can't close the body of the candle, which is open versus close above it. As long as it comes up within, within two ticks, it has to come within two ticks. It can exceed it, enter bar, it just can't close above it. If I get a negative market delta or a fib arrow, then I want to look to sell that market. So that is called a retracement trade. The second trade came up, I've got a green retracement, uh, I mean, uh, wrongly positioned traders coming in the market again. It comes up to my sim dots, it does not close a whole body candle close above it. So what I want to do is I want to look to take the arrow when it comes, comes up short. So that's how you trade Fibonacci retracements if you are catching the rolling position traders. That's called retracement trades. That's one of the trades we use in the room. What if the market's too weak or too strong? It happens all the time. You'll get a market that you're, they're really trying to mark the market down or mark the market up. Remember, these are electronically traded markets. A lot of this is 70-80% controlled by computers. So computers leave their footprint. So as long as they leave the footprint, we can take advantage of uh, riding their coattails. So what we want to do is if it's all red, and here's another momentum trade that's happened here too where the arrows fired. We've had one, two, three, four momentum trades. Sometimes in the market, they try to mark the market down as too weak or too strong. It's all red, 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 no green. So you're not getting a retracement trade. So if you're not getting a retracement trade and you get all these momentum, uh, uh, this is called a momentum trade, what I want to do, I want to look at the next chart to my right. That's called my three sim rate. This is my shorter term time frame. Now I want to use these Fibonacci arrows. You see how these Fib arrows fire over here? We don't take all Fibonacci arrows. We're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We know every Fibonacci retracement is not going to work. We want to let our trend chart set up the sim dots on the retracement trade. We want to let our momentum trade set up these Fib arrows on our trend chart. How do we do it? Well, we know on the retracement trade, it's got to close an opposite color bar. We're looking for the next retracement to come up to our sim, our, our sim dots to get in with an arrow or negative market delta. Stop loss would be two ticks above the swing high after entry. How about momentum? How about the market's too weak? Well, that's very simple. If we get a red bar that closes below my small MA, as we're below all three MAs, or you can even just be above the smaller MA, as long as it closes a, a whole body candle close above it, even 90%, I look at 90%, if it closes below it, and we're closing below that small MA, then you know an intra-bar retest of that small MA, you're going to look for an error to fire over here on the 3 cent. Meaning, you could tell right here on the way down that we did not touch, get this real big so you can see, we did not touch the small MA at all, no retracements. Mark is really weak. So when it finally comes back up and retraces, we got a fib error that fired. So if I, if I look here, didn't even touch. Opens here, goes down, retests. I get a fib arrow that fires over here. My 3 sim calls the high. 3 sim calls a high. Space, sell, 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 sell. We're way away from my small MA. Comes up, it touches my small MA. I get a, I get a Fibonacci retracement. We're going to go for a momentum trade. So that's how we trade the two trades. We trade the we trade a retracement trade when an opposite color candle comes in if the symmetry dots hold. Like right now, the symmetry dots are still holding. Right now, it's a viable setup to still look for a short. We're still looking for a sell side setup because the counter trend traders are coming in the market. We have not had an arrow that fired like up here, which is nice, and a dub M top up here. But as long as it doesn't close a whole body candle close above, this is still a sell signal. I'm still looking for the market to roll over right here and go take out these lows. Why? I haven't closed a whole body candle close above my SIM dots. We're catching rolling position traders. It's only done it three times since 3 o'clock this morning. Or I'm sorry, only three times since midnight last night. So I'm looking for a retracement trade now as we speak. And if it rolls back over, turns red, 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 then I'll look for a momentum trade as we get rolling here right now. Go over to gold right now, Gerald. We have a momentum trade in effect that just hit. Go to gold. We are running right now on gold. Right now, gold set up perfectly on a momentum trade. What is a momentum trade? Let's take a look at it. Look at the trend chart on gold. We, we are in a momentum trade right now. It's set up perfect. 
Right now, I'm below all through all. I'm below my white MA. Look at my trend filter. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. What happened? Remember what I told you about the symmetry dots? If you're in a downtrend below the small MA and we want to sell red, you can use the opposite color of the symmetry dots on the other side and look for a break retest, what's called a rejection trade. This works out great with my three sim arrows. You'll see this all the time. It happened several times on crude yesterday. You'll notice right here that it broke my symmetry dots on the opposite side. So we know to sell red since we're in a downtrend up here within two ticks. You can also, the beauty of this system is, let it break through my blue symmetry dots and let it retest it. We had one like this on crude yesterday, which was a huge one. It retested right to it. When you know it, my Fibonacci arrow had a beautiful sell signal right there, right on the retest. Look at that beautiful arrow that fired off on the retest. And that is called a momentum trade. Momentum trades can test the white MA or they can break the opposite color of the symmetry dots and retest. And those are the only two setups you need to understand. Look at that nice trade we got rolling on crude on gold right now. The stop loss is very small. It's two ticks above the swing high. So that's how I like to do it. I like to look at the trend chart and say, hey, if you get an opposite color candle that comes in, that's counter trend traders. I want to take the first retracement. Okay, I'm going to take the first retracement up on the SIM dots. Or if it's too weak, let it retest the small MA, get a Fib, Fib Minacci uh, arrow on the small uh, three SIM, or let it break retest the opposite side of symmetry, and there you go. And that's the only thing you need to understand every single day in the market, those two setups.